In this session, we're going to take a look at the delete and recall command. So first off, we're going to open our table, and I'm going to set the default working directory. Um, uh, default to uh, C tutorial lesson one. Use my table one, and I'm going to browse the table. So here we're seeing um, that we have five records now. Let me move, let me dock this down here again. Oh, come on, don't take all day. Okay. When working with um, data, there are times when we need to remove rows from our table. Uh, for whatever reason. So um, let's take George. George decides that he no longer wants to be uh, my friend and has asked me to remove and basically forget his number and forget that he ever existed. Uh, nice fellow, George. And so I can delete George's record um, from the table. Or let's say uh, a better example would be that he was working with our company and he's no longer working with us and we wish to remove his record from our current database, uh, we can do so using the delete command. And it's as simple as um, uh, navigating to the record and, and deleting it. So I'm going to show you the various ways in which we can, we can delete records. So uh, the first, first method is to go to the record. And I did that when I navigated to, when I clicked on George, Within the browse window, I navigated to, to George here. So I'm going to go back up to the top uh, just for demonstration. I'll go for and type delete. Now, the scope, the default scope for the delete command is next one or just the current record. Next one equals to the current record. So I say delete. And so that record is now deleted. It says one record, our records deleted. And if you look up here in the browse, there's a little black bar that is now on or turned on for George. So when we delete records in, uh, in the Fox Pro table, they are not really deleted. They're simply flagged or marked for deletion. And so you can see that the record is still, is still visible. Um, what we can do, uh, let me okay, I click on or off. We can tell Visual Fox Pro that we don't wish to see uh, records that are marked for deletion. Okay, so we can change the environment setting by saying set deleted on. So don't show us deleted records. So I press Enter key here, and so when I click back on the browse window, uh, Visual Fox Pro should hide George's record, and voila, it disappears. So it's physically still there in the table. Um, but with this option turned on, Visual Fox Pro will hide from us um, the fact that George is still in the table because he's been marked for deletion. So another way we could have deleted the record, given that the delete command supports scoping, uh, I want to delete um, all those guys that are living um, in, in the state of New York. I could use actually a for condition with the um, delete command, and this is not really scoping. Um, I'll come back to the scoping in a sec. Delete for state equal n and y. Now note it doesn't matter if I type the column name in upper or lower case. That doesn't really matter. What matters though is the data that I'm comparing against. Because I have it in uppercase in the table, I need to make sure that I specify it in uppercase when I enclose it in quotes here. So this will delete um, two records. And so now we have James and Andy are now flagged for deletion. And then once I uh, so click on the browse window, I'll get a refresh and they'll disappear. So now I'm only left with two friends, my. Okay. 
So I'm going to go ahead and bring those guys back. I'm just going to use the recall command. And I'm going to recall all of them. So everybody's back, including George. So we want to do scoping. So I did go um, go to 1. Sorry, I went go 4 and then delete. I could have done the same thing using delete. This is just demonstrating scope using the record scope. Record and 4. And again, we see George, his, his delete bar is turned on. And so I've deleted that record. And let's get an update on that. And if I were here, I could use the delete rest command to delete the remainder. So Mary and Clive should go. Those two are now deleted. And uh, if I wanted to delete, um, let's recall all of those again. If I wanted to use the next scope, I could say delete next two. So that should delete Mary and George. Remember, next always begins with the current record and then um, however many is specified um, in the scope. So delete next two deletes Mary and George. Again, starting from my current position down. The recall command works in the, in the same fashion. It just reverses the delete. So you notice I've been using recall all. Because records are only marked for deletion, they're not physically removed from our table, I can always recall them. And I can recall, um, I'm on record 4 right now, let's see. Um, to use scoping with the recall, I would need to turn off the set deleted flag so that I can see them. I'll set delete it off and so the record should be displayed again and I can use the same scope I could say recall and press enter the scope for this is next one so that only recalls Mary or I could say um, recall next two which should now include George Mary was already undeleted so uh, that didn't really work for her but it just went on and recalled George as well. So to recall and to delete a record is quite easy. Now we can permanently remove records from the table and for this what I will do is to add uh, a new record. So what we're going to do is append and I can use Control Y. I'll just append a record here and uh, I'll just say Mark, Mark and his last name is for deletion. That's my new friend that I'm going to delete, and his address is delete me 100, delete me please, uh, nowhere, um, Virginia, something, okay? And so we're going to delete this guy and permanently remove him from the table. So uh, he's record number six, if I were here at number one. I could say delete record six. In fact, I think you can leave out the record. If you, if you don't like, you could just simply say delete six, and Visual Fox will know that you wish to use the record scope. Okay? Actually, I was wrong on that. Okay, so we need the record in this in this instance. Um, Okay, so what we're going to do is to permanently remove uh, this last record here, and to do that, we would need, to, of course, to use the table exclusively. And to do that, we uh, have to open it again. Um, so we'll say use my table one. Even though the table is already open, I can still specify its name, and this time I use the clause exclusive, which reopens it and resets the record pointer to one, and uh, then I use the um, the keyword, or sorry, the command pack. So pack will physically remove any record that is marked for deletion um, in our table. So I go pack. Uh, it deletes the old table and copy the five remaining records to a new table. So when I browse, 
I am left with my original uh, crew and um, if I recall all nothing happens because once the record is physically removed from the table that's it it is gone permanently so unless I had made a backup of this table then there would be no uh, way of getting that record back fortunately Visual Fox Pro does this automatically for you so there is um, a backup that is made when you pack a table I um, that's 117 actually I may be wrong about that so um, I would I would recommend that you 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 back up your table before you pack it if you're not sure about um, if you're not sure if you may want to recall that record so pack is a last resort after you've marked records for deletion.